My name is Helen Klein Ross, but I'm also known as AdBroad on Twitter, or more popularly on Twitter as Betty Draper. Um, okay. Well, I think my own particular um, involvement in this is interesting, but I think more interesting is what it means for entertainment marketing and, and marketing in general. Um, from a marketing perspective, the implications of Mad Men on Twitter are fairly extraordinary, I think. Um, by enabling Mad Men characters to evolve outside the conventional constraints of TV, um, and, and also its digital distribution platforms, AMC was inviting fans to form a deeper bond with the show. Well, I guess not AMC. I guess we were inviting fans to form a deeper bond with the show. Um, and instead of letting them forget about it between Sundays and seasons, um, we were reminding them of it daily by, by tweeting and allowing them to connect with the show and also um, with their favorite characters. It's interesting how Twitter followers definitely do have their own cabal of favorite characters that they follow. And engaging fans is so important now in ways that it wasn't before. Before, viewers viewed content rather passively. They didn't expect to interact with Gunsmoke. They didn't expect to interact with Dick Van Dyke or, or Lucy and, um, and Ethel. But now, because of shows like Survivor and because of um, uh, American Idol, that whole contract has changed. Now viewers expect some sort of participation with their entertainment. And entertainment providers and entertainment marketers have to be aware of this if they're talking to the consumers. Consumers consume entertainment across various <laughs> platforms. To them, it's not so different watching a television show on television, on Hulu, on even the mobile phone. But in traditional ad agencies, these are still kind of siloed, just as it was siloed when TV first came onto the scene. In the very beginning, there were right copywriters for print and copywriters for television. That disappeared after a few years, and I feel certain that that will disappear in our lifetime, too. There's not going to be digital copywriters and traditional copywriters. There's just going to be copywriters, or maybe copywriting robots. <laughs>